regreso aquí en Auto 060. Now we're going to switch back to English and uh, travel by the magic of technology to Iceland, where we were to test drive the new Subaru XB Crosstrek Hybrid. Uh, uh, quite a contrast from uh, the view of the original model, which was debuted in Hawaii. So here is Michael Magel from uh, Subaru to talk about the new Crosstrek Hybrid. Well, Michael, the, the last time we talked, uh, we were, uh, I think, about like 50 degrees uh, <laughs> warmer than this. But this is also a very great experience. Thank you very much for that uh, to begin with. So we're here for the new version of the Crosstrek, the XB Crosstrek, the hybrid one. Why did uh, Subaru decide to make its first uh, hybrid this car? So hybrid uh, for us was always something we wanted to do. And, uh, but we wanted to do it properly. We wanted to do it in a Subaru way. And so really that meant a uh, uh, boxer engine and it meant all-wheel drive. So if we couldn't do those two things, we didn't want to rush to market and make not the right Subaru. So we took time and we developed a Subaru hybrid boxer all-wheel drive system. And we wanted to make it small and light. And it was most important for us that we could give it good off-road capability and all of the capability you normally get with a Subaru. I think we did that. Yeah, absolutely. We uh, we had a this our third day here in Iceland, and uh, yesterday experience was amazing. I mean, we went through some places that uh, that you wouldn't think <laughs> initially that we would make it through, but the, the guy is just amazing. I mean, so capable, and like as you said, like. When people hear the name Subaru, they expect something like that. But maybe when they see it, they say like, well, I don't know. But uh, we have proved that it, it does all that. So it's great. And there's really no competition right now for that car. I mean, it's the only one with those characteristics. That's right. So we looked at the market and uh, some of the other players have the small car market uh, to themselves, you know. And uh, some of the big trucks the same way. And we thought, well, nobody is making a small all-wheel drive crossover hybrid. So we thought if we make that, that's going to satisfy our Subaru owners, but also people who really wanted that kind of vehicle and couldn't get it. So we, uh, that, that's what we came up with. And uh, you were reminding me, we, we debuted the Crosstrek in Hawaii. Yeah. So when we debuted the Crosstrek Hybrid in Iceland, they're about as far apart as you can get. Absolutely. Yeah. But uh, the other thing is that, is this another part of the strategy of Subaru to, to reach out to new consumers? Because I, as we have talked before, The Subaru products are like very popular in uh, up up north in the United States, and but not so much like like in Arizona, in Florida, where it's warm and you don't really need uh, a four wheel drive car. But with the hybrid element, that that brings another characteristic that people will look for. That's what. Yeah, I, I I think that's true, and I think that's happened. The the Crosstrek is uh, a, a stronger design than in previous uh, Subaru vehicles, and it has bright colors and infotainment that um, younger people you are looking for. And uh, it has, does great gas mileage, and with the hybrid on top, that adds that kind of cool factor to the vehicle. We've definitely seen sales rise with younger people, and sales rise in the south. So both of those things, I think, Crosstrek is working for us. Yeah, and uh, well, it, it, pretty much everything else is working uh, uh, for, you. for you, because what is this, five years of consecutive growth? Uh, can you go out a little bit through the numbers, which are pretty amazing? For yeah, you? yeah, we, uh, maybe five years ago, we were selling in the US 170,000 vehicles. And we set a record selling 179,000 one year. That made us very happy. Well, this year we'll sell 420,000. So we've more than around triple sales in four, in four to five years, which is incredible. Every year we set a new record. And uh, every product we bring on, whether it was BRZ or the new Impreza sedan or uh, Legacy and Outback, uh, Forrester, just one Motor Trend Truck of the Year, Every one of those has been a success, and thank you to the customers that buy them. But it's been a, a, a wonderful five years, and uh, we're very happy. Yeah, and um, that that's the result of a lot of work, so like a lot of engineering and all that. Yeah. Can you go a little bit through that? I mean, we already talked a little bit uh, about that, but uh, how goes behind the thinking of like bringing a car like, like this or like any others? Because um, people just get into a car, turn it on, and go, yeah. and they don't think much about how much work is behind Well, it, it takes, you know, uh, five years to develop a car. So when you initially begin, the cars we're thinking about today will not come out for another five years. And so you have to predict the market, and that's always difficult to do. And um, sometimes we get it right, sometimes we get it wrong. And Subaru is always known for good engineering, very well-made products, very reliable. But uh, I think not built for America. They were, they were a little small for the American market. And if you didn't mind a small car, that was fine. Yeah. But some people did, and so we didn't sell so many. And 
so five, six, seven years ago, the company said, okay, we're going to make a car that is perfect size for America. So the Legacy got a little bigger, Crosstrek was big, bigger, Forrester got bigger, Outback got bigger. And so all of those cars were dead on size for the market. I think probably the only car we didn't get that right was Tribeca. And that was the last of the old designs. Yeah. And that was always too small for the market, and always struggled. But every other car we have in the market is doing fantastically well. Yeah, that Tribeca had like a, a lot of competition in that segment. It, it so. did. It's, I mean, there's competition in every segment. There's nothing, nothing is free anymore. There's no easy games, yeah. as they say in soccer. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, but if you get the, the product the right size, and you get the right price, and you get the dealer doing the right thing by the customer, and then usually selling is halfway done. Yeah, speaking about the dealership, uh, I, I uh, understand you guys uh, won number one in uh, several categories in recent studies, because your customers are apparently really happy, but that makes the dealer happy too. Yeah, it does, and I always say there are t we have two fierce critics. We have the, the, the uh, journalists, such as you, you guys, and then we have the dealers. And if the journalists say we do a good job, that's number one. And then if the dealers say we're doing a good job, then we know we're up, we're there. Yeah. And uh, if the dealers, if you give the dealers a car they cannot sell, they tell you very quickly. <laughs> they, they phone you up very quickly, and they're yeah. not very happy. They used to, they want product they can sell. And so we had the NADA survey, North American Dealer Association survey, and they rated us number one for quality, reliability, easy to work with, and the most important, selling uh, selling to the dealer a car they can sell to the customer, which tells us we got it right. Yeah, so finally, they're going to sell this one really well, right? Like, can you go a little bit of uh, the pricing of this, uh, for this uh, Crestrock hybrid? So uh, pricing starts at around 25,000, goes up to just under 30,000 for the touring model. And it's the top end of the Crosstrek range. So there are cheaper Crosstrek models in the gas range. And then if you want the hybrid, it, it's three to $4,000 more, but you get more equipment too. So it's sort of difficult to split it out. Yeah, so around thirty thousand, and the, Top, the, yeah. the 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 next uh, competitor that has those characteristics, at least four wheel drive and hybrid system, is like fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> exactly, the, 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 there there are cars that have hybrid, but they're no no good all wheel drive and no good off road, and then there are expensive hybrid uh, luxury vehicles, the Toyota GLs and so on, but. Um, there was nothing in the middle, so we've, we've filled that space pretty well, I think. Well, thank you very much again for, for your time, the, for uh, the opportunity to come here. Very and welcome, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm going to start wondering where it's going to be the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you for coming. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.